Hello and welcome to the Egyptian episode of Draw for Initiative. It's another one of the, well, older ages that we're going to cover today when it comes to the board games. This is Tina, my dearest friend, who's... Also uh, of the older games. But... Yeah, who, who in her former life was Cleopatra, hence she did the, you know. <laughs> and my name is Sarah, I'm the artist behind Pinselgeschichten. And second half of the Draw for Initiative duo. Today we uh, paint scenes from The Favor of the Pharaoh. So let's move to Egypt and uh, have some dicey things going on. It's a lovely game for two to four players for about 45 minutes around for people that are list 13 years and older. So we played it and we uh, well had quite a bit of fun with it. What did you paint? What kind of an experience? What did you focus on? I tried to figure um, how they got from dice to building pyramids. Mm -hmm. And I think I got it figured. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I did explore the history of uh, gaming manuals. And I'm pretty mm -hmm. sure that gaming manuals were hidden in these uh, hieroglyphs in the... Um, in the pyramids. An interesting thought. I've got proof and you can see it. Right about now. <laughs> and there we go. Yay! Let's uh, have some Egyptian art. Okay. You've got quite the full table there. <laughs> yeah. Just realized. <laughs> ah, that's your sketchbook. Ah, My okay. sketchbook and uh, I think some of the art stuff from the game itself mm -hmm. must be lying there. And also the block I took the paper off. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, got some, some stuff there. Zoomstuf. Zoomstuf. That's, yeah, that's very good English. That yes, way. I, a knof. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I like the very simple kind of your painting, just the, the dice being the wall and <laughs> Cleopatra or whomever. No, it's, it's just the artisan from the um, game piece. And now I reveal something to you. Though I'm... A history nerd. I really like it. If you have the haircut. black haircut that way and that dress, you're Cleopatra, no matter what your name is. <laughs> there's just one woman who dressed like that, you know. All right. It's like, mm -hmm. oops. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's just a little cliche there. Oh, tiny, tiny, tiny. <laughs> so, yeah. But I really like the very simplistic approach that you took for this very abstract game. It's really difficult um, to paint something for it as it is such an abstract game. But. Why is it that so many um, antique inspired games exist and they are all quite abstract in the game mex mechanics? I have no clue. Is it just when you have an abstract game mechanic, you say, oh, never mind, we're going to take an abstract and uh, an antique uh, theme on that? Or, or or maybe it is more like, oh, we just in invented story games later. So abstract <laughs> games existed in the 1500s, hence we have to apply that theme. I don't know. I like What's... that reason far more. Um, my dear, do you want to tell us the times? Oh, yes. Let me time you. <laughs> You took 85 minutes and I took 52. Did the sundial tell you? No, the list. Oh. I'm a listing person. List has got a list. And I list the times that we take at um, painting, among other things. Mm -hmm. I'm a lister. I'm not going to make any excuses for that. <laughs> Deal with it. That I write down how long you pay every time. As long. <laughs> As long as you don't take the time for my visits in the bathroom, no, I'm fine. No, that's that's leisure time that you have. I'm not going to time <laughs> you there and I'm not going to write it down. Don't worry. All right. <laughs> so now let's get our heads out of the WC and go back to painting. <laughs> I'm about to outline. Ink. Yeah. And you are still sketching. Yes, because I'm uh, having a whole wall of hieroglyphs that are in Quite the game. Quite unusual. Menu. 
for yeah, you to just, put so much uh, down so much detail before well i had to because um i'm not going to put anything on top other than watercolor that's why i take pencil there and have um the um watercolor pencil for the hands because i'm gonna have pretty much no line there mm -hmm. and all right this is actually like inking with the uh, pencil i'm just gonna go over it with watercolor give it a wash and then intensify some of the colors for the hieroglyphs and that's the first gaming manual ever made in human history <laughs> <laughs> i also like how for this purpose we both uh, used rulers mm-hmm uh, oh, I usually I'm... I usually don't. Um, I was taught that rulers are a bad thing to use on paintings by my arts teacher. So I'm yeah. unable to draw a straight line, so I have to. <laughs> I never said that I was able to draw a straight line without a ruler, but yeah, I usually I can, just. I can't draw it and I can't cut it. I have to yeah. have help there. I'm unable. We are human for that reason. Mm -hmm. I'm wonky. <laughs> There we go. Let's give it a wash. I'm coloring in you. Oh, no, no, no. Overtook you, overtook you, overtook you. Just wait a second. <laughs> wait for it. Jeez, what are you doing there? It's you didn't cut frame. that. You didn't cut that. Jeez. That was on purpose. I was just cleaning up there. No, it was... Um... It was just 20 seconds, so I'm not cutting it. <laughs> I just like that I overtook you. It's fun. It's it's a funny happening there. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, um, we took pretty much the same colors, I think. So we both have the light ochre for the antique, which is thing. quite uh, surprising. Since well, you have got the lime, uh, lemon yellow, and uh, the um, mm. the cadmium red. I don't have those. No, that's but. True. Uh, if I remember correctly, you have the sepia brown as well that I'm using too. I have a bit of green in there. I think you have it in the in the lady. I don't remember. I, I have to challenge tell. either. It's uh, been some days ago, so I forgot. More than two. Yes. More than two. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's more like weeks. <laughs> also doing some texting. Mm -hmm. It's very about, important. Sorry about that. That's your own um, take on producing hieroglyphs, no? It was important. Yes, of course. <laughs> I'm drawing. What are you? You're <laughs> typing. So, come on. You again didn't cut it. No wonder that my times are always longer than yours. You're not texting for half an hour. I can tell you that. Well, I don't believe it. Oh, I still have the raw footage. I remember. You want to check? I remember whom I texted with, and it's probably been a while. Ah, oh, well. <laughs> You're just making history there. Hieroglyphs on a electronic wall. That counts, right? An electronic wall with walls of text on it. See. <laughs> So maybe I can now stop uh, start in color. <laughs> yeah, it's about time. I was really <laughs> there lazy. There you go. I was really lazy that day, apparently. You were distracted. I wouldn't say lazy. Yeah, I was distracted. planning planning things and stuff, and yeah, I have a life besides yeah, yeah. painting. So sometimes I didn't happens. approve, but I'm tolerating. <laughs> that. I'm so happy about that. Thank you. <sighs> <laughs> but yeah, you're also using the light ochre I just saw, yeah. so that's definitely the same color. But it's funny, just by having other color as like an addition mm -hmm. to your painting, yours oh, looks changes quite, the appearance. quite, quite yeah. a lot. Ah, oh, you see, you have a bit of bluish gray. It was just the light blue. Mm -hmm. And there's some darker blue to catch some depth. Some what, somehow, a bit, whatever. <laughs> There's the ochre again. Yeah. Ah, so now you're doing some additional mm -hmm. outlines. Just watercolor uh -huh. on top of the pencil outlines. That part looks like a UFO. 
That's the lower part of the pyramid. I, I, I recognize that, uh -huh. but for the first part, it looked uh -huh. like, like, you know, just well, a bit from a flying pe people, saucer. People think about <coughs> if the pyramids were built by aliens or an older culture, so yeah. I'm just incorporating that as well. I'm just claiming that I have proof that the first <laughs> manual ever for a board game was written in stone in uh, old Egypt. They should have included that in the manual Who as an explanation. They <laughs> Did they? No, they didn't. I didn't recognize that. But I, the way they structured the manual, yeah. it actually said hieroglyphs to me. So that, oh, I'm definitely going to oh, use that. Oh, nice. Like with the arrows. I'm actually, I did just copy the way they did um, explain certain steps with yep. the dice. I'm just I, putting them next yep. to each other ah, instead of below nice each nice. other. So otherwise, it's just, I'm just copying what's in the Sorry. manual. That's why I said, ah, this is hieroglyphs. This looks like, it. put it in another direction and you have like <laughs> Egyptian hieroglyphs. So yeah, had to true. go for it. It's true. Uh, don't you even have books about that hieroglyph stuff? Somewhere, know, yeah, yes, about the Egyptian Egyptian things. Yep, in the library. I'm I'm not really uh, educated on that field, so you will once I'm you just... read the books that my mom passed oh. on to you there uh, yeah. about Egypt as well. And they have they though they are fictional, they yeah. all the facts are real. It's just the story in the newer time that is fictional. I'm getting new books. I always love getting new books. Yeah, my yeah. mom's reading up books and you will get the next haul of books soon-ish so i'm guessing by christmas probably you're gonna have another stack of books there books 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 books, 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 books. i also books have the uh the annoying habit of you know whenever i visit a bookstore i can't leave without having bought a book and we have that local well, better bookstore. than stealing a book. Yeah, buying one is a way that's better. That's much habit. better because the bookshop owner is my neighbor, my direct neighbor. So it would get um, out really well. So well, I'm just saying as a as a principle, it's way better to buy them than to steal them. So good <laughs> on you that you always have to buy a book. <laughs> I think just even saying. better for the shop owner. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know. I now know why they all love you so much. Mm -hmm. I, because you're a nice person and you buy. Books. I just noticed. Yeah, mm -hmm. that might be the reason. <laughs> of course, uh, there's no other reason to love you. No, it's just buying the books. Yeah, it's just oh, about my books. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, by the way, question. Coming back to the painting, you yeah. were using a gel pen on top of the dice. Right? I did. How did they behave this time around? Did um, they, um, partially better. Okay, good. But not fully. You will maybe notice that on some parts they appear more grayish. Oh, and that's normal. Whitish. I didn't like that. Well, but that's. Hmm. <laughs> the uh, the amount of stuff that comes out of the gel pen is uh, always more to the sides and the middle part of the line is always less uh, medium so that's that's, that's why I, I circled it to get that and now I have you in my mind <laughs> holding down the pen and running around it in circles <laughs> I circled the pen <laughs> my mind makes so weird things <laughs> it's annoying oh, but yeah no, yeah nice. you uh drew tiny circles together okay exactly i i did so you got i did that what you mm -hmm. just said so you you got better coverage though right i yeah it worked. Then, did you just actually buy a new one which had some kind of left in it <laughs> uh yeah there is a new one but uh we didn't start using that one yet I bought it like three weeks ago or something so so um it wasn't that uh mm -hmm. i just used the empty ones earlier and they didn't work but it's that was my same, fault it's the same pens that you used before <sighs> we didn't break in the new one so yet. it in fact was a user error mm -hmm. dang it <laughs> <laughs> not gonna say anything now <laughs> except for keep calm and try. I again. didn't oh, even. You, I didn't, didn't even well go slower uh, than the other times. I 
honestly didn't. Maybe maybe the gods of the gel pens were with you this time around. Maybe just because it was so warm in the studio. Oh, that could be. Mm -hmm. Because it was the week that we had the heat wave with yep. 35, 37 you see degrees. That? I, I really it could be. go quite yeah. fast. So it was it was quite warm mm -hmm. and none of that. So maybe, maybe, yeah, maybe it was that. Probably because uh, usually when you work in cold weather, you warm it up on your finger and not on the uh, cardboard like we do. Um, so it could be that it's way more flowy with the heat. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Um, it's more grayish. Yeah. Which works because uh, the sun go doesn't go directly on it, but mm -hmm. um, still it, it's a bit annoying to me that it's even more grayish and I didn't understand why. That Now now I get, I'm getting out some lighter colors, so I'm going over it again, but mm -hmm. I don't know why. No clue. Never mind. Just because it wants to. I just to get back to your painting. I like that blue contrast with the um, scarab there. Scarab? Uh, I just said the German. Yeah, you said scarab. I'm, I'm mm -hmm. not sure what the English word. Is. The bug. Yeah, bug thing. Beetle. <laughs> the um, Egyptian bug. The beetle. I'm just imagining <laughs> it singing with like you know, you know that haircut from the beetle's back That then. too. And I'm thinking dog. Because a beetle is also a race of a dog. You don't mean beagle, don't you? Is it? Is it? Is it with the, a G or with a the, T? There's a beagle. That's a, like a hunting dog. Yeah. Okay. With the long ears. Yeah. Um. Uh, yeah. 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 Okay. It's also with uh, E A. That would beagle. be. Well, you can't hear that in detail. Beetle. 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 Oh my. We are now so ready for it. Buttering. German. Buttering. Buttering. Anyway, uh, we're done painting. We hope you enjoyed watching along. If you have any questions or comments, as per usual, please leave them in the comment section below. Also, if you want to um, uh, see more of the videos, if you're on YouTube, uh, check out the playlist. If you're on Uh, Board Game Geek, there's a whole geek list that you can subscribe to. Uh, please do so. We would appreciate it a lot. And we're going to see you next Wednesday, 9 a.m. CET, as per usual, with a new game to come, to paint, and to love or not. Usually it's loving. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> have fun, folks. And uh, we're going to see you soon. Bye. Bye.